When appropriate, masking is a crucial step when completing pure tone audiometry. Typically, masking is applied when there is a risk of cross-hearing by the non-test ear when presenting to the test ear. Here with the Unity software, a masking assistant can be employed to ensure proper masking is being performed across clinic locations and providers. This video will cover how to mask without this assistant. Typically, when masking for air conduction, interaural attenuation values of 40 dB for superaural headphones and 60 dB for insert earphones are utilized. When a clinician identifies a threshold that requires masking, stimuli can be toggled on and off under the text masking in the measurement controls panel. Masking presentation side can also be adjusted here by selecting the appropriate air indicator. By toggling on the tracking feature, masking presentation level will automatically follow your pure tone presentation level, as shown here. To manually adjust your masking level, use the plus and minus indicators to the right of where the masking intensity level is displayed. To adjust pure tone presentation level, you can utilize the up and down arrow keys on your keyboard. To the right of the selection, transducer and stimuli type can be adjusted. Typically, masking is indicated for bone conduction when an air bone gap of greater than 10 dB is noted. Should bone conduction masking be necessary, simply select the appropriate transducer for each ear from the drop-down menus. For example, here we are presenting pure tone stimuli via the bone oscillator for the left ear and masking via superaural headphones to the right ear. To store masked responses, simply select store just as when storing unmasked responses. Once the assessment is complete, select save. 